Veteran PTSD treatment advocates also held a meeting outside the county administration building yesterday to demand Fletcher's immediate resignation. And we, we get reaction right now from Amy Riker, co-founder of Reopen San Diego. Good evening, Amy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Amy, you and I have been discussing these events over the past week. Fletcher taking medical leave, the lawsuit, the allegations against Fletcher, MTS firing the 34-year-old employee who brought the lawsuit. You are very upset for the residents of District 4. His resignation is effective May 15th, and we just heard from Supervisor Desmond and Chair Vargas. Your thoughts on their comments, and should Nathan Fletcher resign now, and why? Nathan Fletcher does need to resign immediately and the people that care about him and love him the most need to encourage him to do so because it's what's best for his family and for his recovery and also for the recovery of San Diegans and San Diego. And what do you think the Board of Supervisors should do as far as filling the seat for District 4? The people need to be able to cast a vote for our next supervisor. There's three and a half years left in his term, and we need to hear from the people, and it needs to be the people's choice. Right now, the board of supervisors, they're trying to figure out what to do. Should they appoint the next supervisor, or should it be a special election? If the board of directors were to appoint someone, do you think that is fair? Well, I think we're going to see about 500 people make a run for this seat, and we're going to see more political maneuvering in San Diego County than we've seen in a very long time. I would really hope that any appointment would only be a temporary one, an interim one, until we can have a special election. I think that's the fairest thing. And Amy, you were running for this seat and Fletcher was reelected. As all of this is unfolding, how are you really feeling? Because you could have had that seat. I have experienced a thousand emotions, honestly, but not one of them was surprise. And arranging in those opinions, uh, how I feel about all of this, I feel tremendous sadness for the Gonzalez Fletcher family, for their children and for San Diego and all of this. And one of the things that I've always talked about is the hope that people can have through recovery. And so I really feel like we need to just put this chapter behind us and we need to move on what's best for the county. We're facing so many issues about mental health, about addiction and crime and cost of living. And we need a leader who's gonna be able to take us forward. And Amy, what are your plans right now? Have you had a chance to actually meet with supervisors and maybe talk about you possibly filling the seat? So that's gonna be an appointment process and that is gonna be open to anyone who lives in District 4. So I have not had any conversations with anyone directly about this because I really feel like it has to be a fair and open process. I am encouraging our current Board of Supervisors, please don't let this become uh, just backroom dealing and political maneuvering. Truly, let's have our next representative in District 4, who's going to serve for just a little bit until the special election, truly be representative of the people of San Diego. All right, Amy Reichert, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I know it's been a difficult past year, and especially the last couple of weeks have been very stressful for you and many of those who support you as well. But we appreciate you joining us, and we will definitely stay in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you.